have been, expected nothing less out of him when we signed him that he was going to be uh, a presence and he was going to be an impactful guy just by by how he works. It is a slow, slow to warm uh, type player. He's always done that in April for whatever reason. So um, I knew he would come out of it. I knew he would start to be a little bit more productive. Rob has got four RBIs in this game and a very good week for Robbie Grossman. Drawing walks, getting hits, stinging the ball right now. Grossman's still waiting on the one-two. Here we go, the pitch. Swing a shot to first, and it's by Santana down the right field line. Goodrum around third, Dyson so not in time. Tigers win! Robbie Grossman with a bullet past Santana at first. And after losing a 7-0 lead late, Robbie Grossman gets the mob scene by first base. Then we started off with breaking balls, and I knew there was a fastball coming at some point, and uh, especially after the mountain visit. Uh, I knew they weren't on the same page, and, and I figured the fastball was coming right there, and uh, I put up a good swing on it, and luckily it got through. pitch. Well, he's starting to feel the mojo here. Yeah. He's getting in his rhythm a little bit. They like the way I, the way I work and the way I prepare and they, you know, they give me the information they have for me and we put it all together and, you know, we get out there and try to do the best we can with that information. The way I can attack the hitter, you know, that I can be more successful in there. I've seen his work behind the scenes. I've seen him. Um, he's tireless. I mean, it, this guy is is he's built um, like a, like a triathlete. Like he he just is always running. He's always conditioning. He's always, and that endurance pays off for him. Um, on the days that he doesn't have his perfect command and he throws a lot of pitches and it pays off for him in the days where he needs to continue in the fight. Two two swing and a miss. Woo! Might have gotten away with one. Oh, Slugger that hung up and in and Baez couldn't find it. Off Arrhenia, and then off first base bag, and Arrhenia's down. Hope he didn't break anything. And Arrhenia crumples to the ground. Oh, man. He was hit hard, let me tell you. Oh, boy. That was a rocket. He's up. It's a great sign. You know, I think I think like the young kid watched me. You know, the way I work. Um, I think like the best they can learn is like work hard every day. That doesn't matter what kind of situation you can be. Just work hard. What a heck of a bounce back after taking the shot off his ankle. The Tigers bat in the bottom of the tenth, trailing eight seven. The one one. Swinging a fly ball, center field. That should get Goodrum to third. Half behind it makes the catch. Goodrum tags, throw to third is strong, but not in time. Tigers try to tie it up or win it here in the bottom of the 10th. Swinging a ground ball up the middle into center field, a base hit. Mazzara delivers. We're tied at eight. Terrific at bat. Jacoby Jones will pinch run. There goes Jones. He took off. Throw down to second base. Not in time. Again, a great jump off a Cubs pitcher. 8 8 tie. We're in the bottom of the 10th inning. The strike one. Swing a line drive. Base hit into left field. Brian up with the ball. Jones around third. The throw to the plate. Not in time. Tigers win. Jones with the head first slide. Castro will get the mob scene at second. 
That's your first career walk-off that came complete with the Gatorade shower. How does it feel? Oh, that feels amazing. That feels amazing to me. I was trying to focus on this one. You know, every at-bat is different. So I was trying to, to take away the other the other, the other at-bats in the, in the game. I was putting everything in this one. Seems like he gets energy from being out in the field. Seems to help him at the plate. Now the payoff. Drives one to deep right field. Over goes Kepler. That ball is off the wall. Miguel Cabrera's single is the 2,873rd of his career, tying Babe Ruth for 45th place on the all-time Major League hit list. And the 2-1. There's another base hit from Miguel Cabrera. And now he stands alone at 45, breaking the tie with the great Babe Ruth. Talk about tying Babe Ruth, and then you talk about passing Babe Ruth. You know, I, I don't care what generation you were born in, how old you are, how big a baseball fan you even are, you know Babe Ruth. So, uh, Miggy should be very proud with the uh, names like him that he's uh, not only catching, but surpassing. Brings up Miguel Cabrera. Line drive single into left center his last time up. The strike one. Swing a line drive. Base hit into shallow right field. Pass to diving Merrifield. Candelario around third. He will score without a throw. So the most <laughs> hits by a Venezuelan born player in baseball history. Passing now Omar Vizquel. As a you know lifetime Tigers fan, it's good to see you know someone of his stature go through and um, really work towards these milestones that I know he's probably working towards his entire career. Um, so I'm really happy for him and uh, really cool that I got to see that here today. I mean, right now I feel like I'm released right now because uh, too many people have been talking to me the whole season, the past year, and today I'm gonna pass this record. So. That keep me in my head, so right now I'm a little released. Uh, I don't have to worry about that. Um, hopefully I can, uh, can get in hit and stand get it hard. You know, that'll always be kind of connected for myself. You know, my first win here was Miggy, uh, you know, uh, accomplished that feat, you know, which is going to be awesome for me to look back on and just, just say I was on that field whenever he did that because, you know, obviously just one of the many amazing things he's done in his career and is going to continue to do.